good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I am Harbinger, the Pentagenarian, and this is my space where I react to and listen to music videos that I have not seen or heard before. Well, sometimes I've heard the songs but not seen the videos. If you can't tell, I am presently in the midst of trying to organize my space, my workspace here. Um, I'm also trying to experiment with lighting, and this one needs a diffuser. I've also started wearing these blue blocker glasses because and when you do a lot of videos in a row, they start making your eyes weird. Anyway, enough of that yammering. Um, it is Saturday. So on Saturdays, I am going to be picking one subscriber's recommendation. I'm doing this because, I mean, I kind of pick through them during the week and look at bands and those type of things, but this one will be a guaranteed a subscriber recommendation there's not going to be a theme other than that so your guess is as good as mine on some of the stuff we might hear on saturdays but this saturday i'm very confident in our recommendation it is coming from a subscriber that subscribed to my first channel um bridget requested that i do the cover of steelheart's she's gone by Tommy Johansson. I don't, okay, now, someone correct me. Is it Johansson or Johansson? I don't know. Um, I'm going to assume it's Johansson. But uh, if it's not, correct me in the comments. And if it is, say, good job. And if you hate my guts, let me know. Uh, because every comment helps, just like every click on like or dislike. Uh, if you do dislike, though, just tell me why. I mean, if you hate the band, but you're okay with my reaction, just say that. Anyway, so I'm going to stop yammering because I'm really fucking good at that. And instead, I'm going to play She's Gone uh, by Steelheart, and it's going to be Tommy Johansson's cover. So let's do that now before I keep on talking more. All right, I'm going to click play, and we're going to check this out, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. So here we go. <laughs>
Yeah, let's talk about that. All right, that was outstanding as usual. Um, I've seen, I want to say, two or three different um, performances by Tommy with his covers. And I, I think he should put together an album eventually, although maybe it's just more profitable in the long run for him to do it this way and, and just you know concentrate on Sabaton. I think the thing I enjoy, well, the things I enjoy about his covers is one, he doesn't change the song so much that you don't recognize it. Um, it still keeps the, I don't want to say classic as an old, but it, it still keeps the overall theme of the song. Um, I also enjoy the fact that he has such an emotive voice. And he's got a great range and a very good, clean singing voice uh, that you that is put on display very, very properly. I believe, and again, let me know in the comments below, I believe he does all the instrumentation on this. So not only is the guy talented, but he's a talented as a vocalist, a guitarist, a drummer, a bassist, a keyboardist, a producer, an engineer. And he does his lighting about 5,000% better than I do. Um, I like that because, again, the song is immediately recognizable and it still had the feel. And if anything, I think it had more emotive and more emotive response and more emotion from him than the original did. So he's a great performer. He's in a great band. And the other thing I really enjoy about watching his videos is and I don't mean this in a negative way, but he's a goof. I mean, he he faked me out with his uh, you know, look of confusion and leaning down and, and, you know, I don't know if he actually did or he was making believe he was clicking something to start a new track up. 
But I mean, I was reaching to hit the pause button and the stop button. And it, it, there's, in every video I've watched of him, he's always got that, you know, look on, you know, thing at the end. And I appreciate that because here's a guy who takes his music seriously while he's performing it. Yet at the same time, it's fun for him. And I mean, it, it, it's, it might be a bizarre concept, but he can get into the, the moment. And I like that about him. It, he doesn't have to, you know, if he strikes me as the kind, um, oh, I, example, I just had an example. Um, very serious, straightforward while he's playing his music. You know, no bullshit, straight, straight to it. Um, and in a way, that kind of in a very remote way, but in a way, it reminds me of one of the things I like about R Will Ramos of Lorna Shore. You watch and listen to their you know, music videos, and this guy is a demon incarnate. Yet, when you watch him talk to people, when you see him in interviews, you see him on uh, you know uh, talking to Elizabeth from Charismatic Voice. He's I want to adopt him, you know. He's he's a, he looks like he's just such a good kid, and I think that's really cool. And I think we need more of that in the hard rock and heavy metal scene. Not everybody has to be a bad boy. You don't need to be a Dave Mustaine to to be cool. Um, you know, again, talented guitarist, but he, he's a prick. Um, you know, and you know, for all I know, Tommy might be a prick, but it doesn't seem like it. If that makes any sense. He doesn't seem like he's arrogant. Um, you know, I like individuals like that who are, I guess, I, I, it's almost weird to say, but like happy people. Um, I, I, I don't, there's enough anger in the world. I mean, hell, I, I have enough anger to, to deal with, uh, you know, for a lifetime. But it doesn't mean you need to project it on everything you do. So seeing an artist like, you know, Tommy Johansson or, you know, a Will Ramos or, you know, these people that are just, they're having fun. They're like, I've got this cool talent that I can share and make money with. And I'm going to do that, but I'm going to have fun in the process. So, you know, in his downtime, Tommy makes covers of songs. In in Will's downtime, he is doing like reaction videos. These are real people, and maybe that's what I like about them. They come across as real and genuine people. So, you know, hell, if they've got the same downtime, I think it would be very interesting to see Tommy and Will get together on their downtime and do something. How about that one? Try that on for size. But I'm going to stop yammering because, good God, I've been doing it for almost five and a half minutes um, to say, yeah, I like the video. I like Tommy's work, and there will be more of it. So until next time, take care of yourselves. Be good to one another, and don't be a dick because the world has enough of them. Take it easy. Bye-bye.